Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSR net results are out and a lot of you have made through it. A big congratulations to everyone who have qualified for GRF, LS or PhD only. Uh, you have done a great job. But this video is about those who were not able to make through it, who were not able to go like qualify through the cutoff and who are thinking to give up. All right. So uh, the reason for making this video is because I have also been through this particular phase and I can un totally understand what you must be thinking. So let's talk about few things which can either motivate you or can help you to think whether you should give up or not. Okay. So just to give you a context, those who know about me, they already know that uh, I qualified CSR net JRF in 2017. But before that, I also gave attempt in 2016 and I was not able to qualify. I got terribly bad uh, like four in that. I still remember it was 36 marks, which is too bad. OK, uh, but that time also I had a thought that I should give up on CSI net and I should look for something else because uh, I thought because of that low score, I probably am not made for this particular exam because everybody is not made for competitive exams. Right. And uh, there are a lot of things which was going through and back then there was no YouTube, there was no uh, social media as such to help and discuss about CSR net. Uh, we still did not had geo back that time. So internet was not having this much content, especially for CSR net. And uh, we have to rely or we have to talk to seniors and uh, like in our own institute to discuss about these things. And uh, that was all about it or you have to struggle of your own. And keep seeing your friends qualifying the exam, it also gives you, uh, you know, a kind of competitive setback that we all were preparing for the same thing, but they were able to make it. I am not able to make it. So that thing, that thing I have been through. So uh, I just want to share one thing. I actually discussed this with one of my uh, senior and he is, he was also like he was doing research that time and he suggested me something that if uh, you are thinking to give up just before giving before thinking of giving up or before giving up for something just ask yourself have you given your best have you tried your best for this thing okay and if the answer is no that you could have done better okay if if you think that you have not given your best this is not your best okay you could have done a little bit more or you could have done better than this if that is what answer comes out from you then that means that this is not the time to give up okay so what he suggested was just try your best give your best before giving up if you give your best still you are not able to make it you then it is then you you will not have that regret later on that okay i did not even try my best and i gave up too soon okay so that regret should not happen to you so this i want to pass on to you guys before thinking of giving up think about that uh, whether I have given my best or not. If you think that you have already given your best and that was your best, whatever happened, whatever score or whatever you got, that was your best. And now you cannot go uh, like more than that. It's acceptable to give up upon it. Okay. You can look for something else. Okay. Don't go for CS and look, go for something else. But in case if you think or it comes to you that that was not your best, you can still improve upon yourself, then you should try one more time. You should give one more chance. And now you have to learn from your mistakes. And this thing I have been talking since every cycle of CSR. I always make this video that you have to learn from your mistakes. If you have to run from one meter or zero to let's say 100, and if you always start from zero and try to achieve 100, you will always fall be below 100, right? So if you have already ra ran from 0 to 100 and you fell, let's say on 40, now start from 40, learn from why you fell at 40 and start from 40 and then make a run, okay? Probably you can make through 100 this time. And this is where I want to share a very famous story. You might have already heard about it. This is by experiment done by Peter Skillman uh, in which he divided his class into two groups. One of the group was asked, to make one perfect pot okay whereas the other group was asked to just make pots uh, as many pots as possible and he was expecting that the group which was asked to make one perfect pot might make a good pot or might make the best pot of the class but later when the results came he was surprised to see that those who were asked to make 
as many pots as possible they actually performed well not only they made more number of pots but their pots were better looking compared to one who only had one chance so if you give yourself one chance and you think that in one chance i will be able to you know i have to go through this in one chance that pressure is tremendous instead of that if you keep learning from your mistakes so the team which was or the group which was asked to make multiple pots or as many pots, pots as possible they were actually learning from their mistakes it's not that their first pot was good their first pot might have some mistakes or they, that might not look well they learned from that mistake they improved on the second pot that second pot might, might not be perfect then they tried the third one so basically they were learning from their own mistakes they were improving from their own mistakes and this is how human mind works this is how human psychology works so in case if you are approaching something and if you know that you are making some mistakes the first thing is to acknowledge that mistake understand that mistake what mistakes you are making and then analyze upon it and work upon it give another try okay working upon your mistakes and there are many stories because i have been teaching like this is almost like 7 8 years since i have been teaching for csrnet and i have multiple stories of students who come after the result uh, thinking that sir i was not able to do or nothing happened to me or i was not able to make through it and then after talking after discussing what mistakes they were making they they work upon their mistake in the next cycle and they qualify exam with a better score and then they look upon back and they think that if they would have given up in the last attempt itself they would not have made through it even if i talk about myself if i would have given through or if i i would have given up upon this exam probably where i am right now i would not be over here i would not have completed my phd i would not have got a postdoc in us and i would not be sitting currently in us okay and talking to you about all these things so basically the core idea is that before you give up just think that whether you have given your best or not and if the answer is that you have not given your best yet try to give your best learn from your mistakes and if you are not able to analyze your problems if you are not able to analyze what mistakes you are doing talk to me okay you can talk to me on instagram that's the fastest way to interact i think because there are a lot of social media i don't emphasize or i don't promote using social media a lot because that's another kind of addiction but to interact with someone to talk to someone that's like for me actually to reach out to me i think instagram is the place where you can reach out to me links are there in the description you can reach out to me talk to me what mistakes you are doing or what things you are doing probably we can come up with something uh, like which you might be overlooking i'll try to make a detailed video on this particular aspect that what are the things uh, and what are the general scenarios and what things needs to be done but i just wanted to make this video because i know a lot of you might be feeling low currently because of your score or because of your scores and because of the result so yeah that was all about this particular video so thank you so much for watching do let me know in the comments if you have any particular thing to share uh, if you have made through this exam if you have your own story to share i am very happy to read please write it down in the comments there are a lot of people watching it reading this comment section as well they might get inspired and uh, yeah i would encourage you to share your own story in the comments and that's it from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care all the best for your preparation and uh, see you guys in the next video take care bye bye